Hampton Brandon, if you haven't heard of him, is a man who was hit by a car. And that's one of his major claims to fame, as well as being one of the more realistic live streamers. You see, all the way up until this point, live streaming has mainly been occupied by gamers, but now real people like this man, Hampton Brandon, are revolutionizing the in real life genre of live streaming by exposing trolls like Burger Planet and bringing a form of content that's both outrageous and thought provoking for the audience where he gets himself into trouble. I mean, this man has been willing to get himself arrested for the content multiple times just to please his oh, audience. My life for one Adderall. Hey, man, hit my shit, man. So I can get the fuck up out of here, man. You think this shit is? All right, I'll see you later, Mac. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, stop playing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> And it's no wonder why celebrities like Andy Milanakis are attracted to a personality like Hampton's. He's a man who's willing to get into verbal confrontations with strangers live in front of his audience, which is a form of entertainment that really hasn't been explored yet. And it's basically starting to bloom with the digital age. With Just check this okay, out. Okay, see you later. Okay, see you later. You know that's illegal. Yeah, okay. I can take that from you and fucking take this little shit. You're not understanding what you're doing is illegal. Okay? Whoa. That's my phone. You see, for the most part, uh, live streaming could be one of the most boring forms of content on the internet, but personalities like Hampton Brandon, who are willing to literally get themselves hit by a car so that their audience is entertained, even though, I mean, check it out. Man's a genius. <laughs> And then still managing to keep it ten toes down, even in the most stressful of circumstances. He's known for keeping it real on stream, even a lot more than a lot more of other streamers like Ice Poseidon, who, you know, usually go on stream and manage to try and keep things a little bit too friendly with the audience and the people in the world to try and maintain his own sort of low profile, but not Brandon. He's been arrested multiple times on stream, and he doesn't even even give a shit he's fully ten toes down for the content and he's one of the more entertaining people to watch because if you want to see somebody who's willing to put their entire life on the line for the content well then he's your man and you know he's been made himself popular by being friends with Andy Milanakis and so forth and through that he's made managed to make friends in the Hollywood industry and he's one of the new faces in the streaming atmosphere and for people who are interested in him he's been banned five times and still manages to come in with the content and entertain his audience. It's interesting to me to see the way that the concept of celebrity is actually changed and developed over time. And it's my theory that live streaming and in real life streaming in particular is going to be the next medium of content. See, take Bunk Gang for example. He's got sort of the same uh, role to play is a uh, celebrity like Hampton Brandon. They both go around and do outrageous things in their day to day lives and record it. And it's part of that seamless integration of the camera into our day to day existence. And it's starting to normalize uh, people wanting to be on camera doing these crazy things. And it's interesting to see the way that people are progressing and developing in regards to this form of content and how it's been integrated into our day to day lives. One of the most interesting live streamers out there is actually Hampton Brandon because he's a criminal. I mean, he's he's a bad bad boy type individual. His persona is, you know, his personification of his own character is actually depicted in the way that he lives his day-to-day -day life, which has a parallel to Bunk Gang. And my theory is that we'll see a lot more celebrities like this and Hampton coming up in the future as it, internet culture becomes more seamlessly integrated into our the way we live our lives.
In my personal opinion, Hampton Brandon is probably one of the best live streamers out there because not only is he willing to let himself get arrested for the content, but he spends most of his streams just strolling up and down Hollywood Boulevard making an ass out of himself and doing things that the average person wouldn't be willing to do even if they were performing in front of a thousand person live stream audience. But what I want to start getting into is the fact that uh, live streaming really is going to be the next generation of our culture. Because the more people start to realize how easy it is, the more people are going to start to mimic the type of concept of live streaming. See, up until this point, it's mostly been gamers, but now people like Hampton Brandon are moving in on the scene, and they're starting to do some outrageous bunk gang shit and committing crimes for the camera uh, you know, in a live stream environment, which is starting to create this new form of celebrity where the audience is actually in direct connection with with the celebrity and you know you get to communicate with them through chat and it's really a much more personable uh, experience and it's starting to develop and change the way that we perceive our celebrities in our day-to-day -day life and that's why Hampton Brandon is really a revolutionary when it comes to this sort of content because he moved in right where the timing was perfect before it got swamped with a bunch of random live streamers he's one of the first uh, who's really made an ass out of himself and managed to make himself known and at the same time keep it ten toes down coincidentally.